It's new server day. Today's video is brought to you by Meter, the company that's building better networks. Managing networks can be a pain. Anyone who's ever built out a business network knows that you've got different vendors for every piece of your deployment, from switching, routers, firewalls, Wi-Fi points, plus you get to juggle local ISPs, installers, and somehow when everything breaks, it's all still somehow your problem. Meter aims to change that, delivering a complete networking stack that includes high-speed wired and wireless networking, power delivery, firewall and routing, and even cellular all in one integrated solution that's built for performance and scalability. You pay a predictable monthly cost, Meter supplies you with all the hardware that you need, and will keep everything up and running. They handle everything, the hardware, design, installation, monitoring, even dealing with your local ISPs to get you the best rates on internet connectivity. You get enterprise-grade switches, Wi-Fi 7 access points, and fully managed security appliances all tied into a single cloud-based dashboard that gives you visibility into your entire network stack. Best of all, there's no upfront expenses. When you sign up for Meter, they supply you with all the hardware your business needs and will automatically upgrade your hardware as time goes on, ensuring your users and your business always have the tools and connectivity they need. Whether you're starting up a new business, adding new offices, or simply need to upgrade your existing network, go to meter.com slash craftcomputing to book a demo today. Again, that's M-E-T-E-R dot com slash craftcomputing, and a huge thanks again to Meter for sponsoring today's video. Welcome back to Craft Computing, everyone. As always, I'm Jeff, and I'm back here at Yolo Colo, otherwise known as Zero One Technologies. Now, I've been here before. In fact, this is where I'm hosting my Inspur DGX V100 system. In fact, it's in the rack right behind me over my shoulder right here. But I'm here for another reason today. Uh, I'm deploying a different server, and this one's not even mine. Uh, this one is owned by a friend of mine named Josh, and he and I have some history. I actually worked with Josh for around 12 years at my previous employer. Uh, I did a lot of the hardware stuff. He did a lot of the networking and logical stuff. And he's since started his own business, but he's got a server that we're gonna deploy here today. So Josh, kind of come on over here. There we go. All right. uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Yeah, my name's, like you said, I'm Josh. Uh, I'm the owner of Square W. We're an MSP company running out of Salem Kaiser area and up and down the I-5 corridor. Um, been doing it for a few years now. Uh, like you, you alluded to, we used to work together and then yeah, yeah. we both kind of took our exits and did our own thing. So, um, it's worked out. It's, I think. Yeah, so far it's worked out. It's been, it's been good. Yeah. So, uh, what kind of work do you do? You said you're an MSP, but, uh, you know, kind of what's your client base? What, what, uh, what kind of people do you work with? Yeah, we work with, um, anyone from small businesses, uh, governmental agencies, school districts, mm -hmm. nonprofits, and we come in and we are their tech department. We're in there, you know, fixing a jammed printer or, you know, deploying their network, cybersecurity, uh, all the way up to cloud computing and uh, doing some custom work like we're doing today. Excellent. So you bought a new server kind of for you. I mean, <laughs> it's a large purchase. Let's make no bones about yeah, that. But yeah. uh, tell me a little bit about what you bought here. Yeah. So we had a client um, in Portland come to us and say, hey, we currently have a filing cabinet full of drives. And I was kind of like, okay, a filing cabinet full of drives. What, uh -huh. could, what could that be? I, I've seen the slow-mo guy's <laughs> old filing system. I'm familiar. Yeah. I was like, well, a lot, of, a lot of clients we deal with, small businesses have you know, a few terabytes of data. Yeah. Um, digging into this client, we found out that they had close to 1,000 terabytes of data stored across external hard drives. Uh -huh. um, so they called us and said, hey, we want to centralize this into a system mm -hmm. where we can categorize it, search it, and retrieve them in a timely manner. And that's how we got started. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're here. I do a lot of videos on NASAs, specifically around a lot of 45 Drives products. And it's not the most common comment, but one that is often repeated is 45 Drives makes cool stuff, but they're too expensive for anyone in the real world. No one actually spends money on them. Yeah. Well, then what is that behind me? Uh, that is a 45 Drives XL60. <laughs> so they do exist. They, they do exist. They, people actually buy them. It is, it is a product you can buy and get shipped to you. Awesome. Uh, so what all do you have configured inside of there right now? Uh, so right now it has 30 uh, drives. Mm -hmm. They're 30 terabytes each. Um, they're in three VDEVs of 10 drives each mm -hmm. in a RAID Z2. So what's that? My quick math tell me about 
three quarters of a petabyte of actual usable space? Yep. Is that yeah, where you're, I landed? Yeah, you're right there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and that's about half of the server. So um, yep. when we fill it out completely, we will be over our initial goal of a, a petabyte. Excellent. Cool. So let's go ahead and move over there. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of closer look at the XL60 itself, and then we've got to get it racked. And uh, unfortunately, the only spot available is the bay above my V100. So we've got to lift this heavy box up above our heads. So uh, that'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So here is the XL60. Obviously, we've got those 30, 30 terabyte drives here with another 30 bays just in case. Uh, and I'm seeing an Epic motherboard. Uh, what is this? 32 core Epic, 256 gigs of RAM. Is you got what I'm it. Seeing? Right on. Yep. Ex excellent. Yep. I still got it. I, I know what I'm it. talking about. Yep. Uh, so you got 32 core Epic Rome. Uh, we've got a couple of boot drives here. Those look like 240 gig SATA SSDs just to get the OS up and running. Uh, the really impressive thing that you guys can't see is actually the four, four bay H, uh, HBA cards in here to power all of these drives. The really cool thing about 45 drive systems is it's not just a JBOD system that you assemble and you get kind of like an aggregate connection. Each drive has a direct connection back to HBA. It's full line rate speed for every disk. And that is one of the most attractive things and why people spend this kind of money on servers like this is for that, that massive amount of throughput. Well, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get the top back on this thing. And then uh, luckily, Yocto happens to have a lift, which is going to make this job easier, but not easy. So uh, let's get this thing buttoned up and get it in the rack. Sounds good. Catch yep. on your side? Yep. Okay. Well, it looked like that last time, so. There you go. That's looking better. There we're in. Oh. Whew. You dented my server. Did it? No. <laughs> well, that wasn't nerve wracking at all. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's in there. Only, only a minor uh, two thirds of a U drop. Uh, I think they account for that in shipping hard drives anyway, so yeah, I think you're probably fine. Hey, look, it's in the rack. All right. Luckily, when it fell, it only landed on my server, so we're good. <laughs> All right, so that didn't go too bad. I mean, a little hairy for a second. Well, everyone's still got their fingers. We also got fingers. Uh, the, everything booted up. All the drives showed up. Yep. So yeah, we're all set there. Um, I guess now the real work begins and that's kind of getting your clients access to this. Yep. Um, you said a uh, video production house? Is that video what Video production doing? house, that's what they're doing. Uh, it already has uh, 200 terabytes of archived data on it. 
and we're expected to put another 200 on it here soon. Wow, nice. So yeah, lots of fun stuff to do. Uh, unfortunately, that's about all we can show you here is that it is up and running now, but this is kind of the process if you're looking to colo a server is find a colo location near you, uh, find a, a company or, or a place that's willing to work with you. Uh, luckily, I'm really good friends with, uh, with Yocto over here and he's got this nice little humble home <laughs> yeah. lab that he opens up to people like us, but uh, yeah. this is cool. We've got all the power in the world. We've got uh, five gig symmetric internet here. Uh, it's gonna be great for your clients. It's been working great for me as well. So yeah. Well, cool. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. As always, like the video, subscribe, and uh, as always, we'll see you next time. Cheers, everyone. So uh, you're gonna say, yeah, an epic motherboard in here. Yeah, do, do you want to go over the, the CPU and memory, or do you want me to save that? All right, you just keep Good. doing it. Okay. You're, you're, you got the... <laughs> That's the, right. I am the hardware guy. After all. And, and yeah, and the video guy. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's plugged in, I just hand it off to him. That's how the, we've always worked. <laughs>